So these videos are aimed at helping you with the extended response questions, also known as the long answer questions. Now there were four to six marks and up to 15 marks in paper one, if you do A level, will be comprised of extended response questions. And for AS, there'll be up to 10 marks available for extended response questions. So it's quite a big chunk of the exams. Now let's make this short and sweet and get into it. So question one, describe how the structure of glycogen relates to its function. So I'm gonna underline describe first of all. Now this is an important command word that AQA need you to know about. So this means give an account of. The next thing I'm gonna underline is the structure. So it's gonna want us to talk about the structure of glycogen. What's it made up of? What's the chemical formula? Is it branched? Is it straight chained? All of those different bits and pieces. And then what we've gotta do is we've gotta relate it to its function. So it's worth four marks. We've gotta talk about structure and function and give an account of how they link. So our first mark comes about for saying that glycogen is coiled or branched. Now glycogen is a polymer of alpha glucose and it's highly branched. So it's got those one to four, so one to four carbon links and also one to six carbon links as well. Now I've got a video on carbohydrates for more information on that. Now what we also need to include for this mark is to say that it's compact, meaning that we can get lots of glycogen in each cell. Now our second mark is for saying that it's a polymer of glucose, so it's easily hydrolyzed. Now I don't typically like the term easily, but the mark scheme seems to accept it here. Next mark, it's highly branched, again, talking about the branches of glycogen, so AQA are very clear, you need to know about branching, and it gives it more ends for faster hydrolysis. So if you've got a molecule of glycogen, it'll be made up of all of these little glucose molecules. So we've got alpha glucose like this, and it'll be branched off like this, and it will just keep branching out. Now these are terrible hexagons, but what you will see is there's more branches for enzymes to act on. Now the next mark is for saying that glycogen is insoluble. That means it doesn't dissolve in water so it won't affect the water potential. Another way to get mark point four is to say that it's not easily lost from cells because it's insoluble. Number five, it's a polymer of glucose, so it's used in respiration to release energy. Now we know that glycogen will release glucose when enzymes break it down, such as amylase and maltase, and then those glucose molecules that have been formed as products can then enter glycolysis and feed through both anaerobic or aerobic respiration in the products that are then formed. Now, I said it'd be short and sweet, guys. That's all we've got time for today. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.